Researchers found the secret entrance to the mythical land of Hyperborea. Hyperborea is a Greek word meaning above the north, the upper north. And uh, in uh, ancient Greek texts, they were supposedly advanced uh, people, Atlanteans, and some even called them extraterrestrials. Now, one while on the lookout for the mythical land of Hyperborea, researchers have come across the remarkable remains of an ancient observatory and unusual carvings on the wall of a mountain in northwest Russia, of all places. And that's where they also found the Denisovans, which were giants. The ancient observatory and the carvings of a giant near the shorelines of Lake Se Dozera, meaning sacred lake, in the language of the indigenous Sami people, are believed to be clear indications pointing towards the long forgotten land of Hyperborea, which was supposedly a sacred land similar to that of Shambhala or Atlantis. Quiva the giant, a colossal silhouette embedded on the cliff of mountain Quivkor, watches over the sacred lake and is also presumed, presumably guiding guarding the secret entrance to the legendary city. According to the local beliefs, Quiva the giant was an old wizard who once fought against the local Sami. They had their own wizard and confronted the giant with bravery, but without success, the legend says. And when the battle appeared to be lost, the Sami people invoked the help of the gods in the last desperate attempt. The gods responded and sent fiery lightning bolts towards the giant who was crashed against the surface of the mountain and incinerated. The imprint of the fallen angel's body is visible even today on the Angvundaskor rock, the highest peak of the Luzo Versaya tundra. A curious remark that is, that is that pieces of the rock where the giant met his end are crumbling, but the imprint of the giant remains untouched. Is it possible that it stands here as a marker and uh, leading uh, the marker leading to the sacred entrance to Hyperborea? The imprint of the fallen giant's body visible even today on the Angvur Daskor rock, the highest peak of the tundra there. And this is the black mark of the supposed imprint of the giant against the rock, as you can see the Kulva giant in Russia. I kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box. So the imprint of the fallen giant's body visible today on this uh, Angvur Das rock Shore Rock, the highest peak of the Lovo Zerskaya Tundra. The mark, the curious mark, is that pieces of the rock where uh, the giant met his end are crumbling. The imprint of the giant remains untouched. Now, other Greek accounts refer to the Hyperboreans as the people who possess sacred knowledge because of them being in close relation with the gods. The quote unquote Olympian gods were supposedly uh, Anunnaki type extraterrestrials, Nephilim type. It's said that Apollo himself descended from the sky to visit this ancient culture of the Hyperboreans. Now supporting this above theory, Valenta, Valentina Sharipova, director, director of Hyperborea, which is a research organization in the port city of Murmansk, has asserted that the origins of the name Kola are related to the same name of the Slavic sun god Koyalda, who could also be a personification of Apollo. Another intriguing aspect is the translation of the name Hyperborea, which in Greek means beyond the north wind, summons this up. The Russian team of researchers believe that they are close to finding this long forgotten culture. Recently, they found remains of an observatory stones with hollows which were directed at the polar star according to Sharipova saying she said that many rocks have inscriptions or runs 
runes carved into them. Other enigmatic aspects of the story involve the discovery from the beginning of the 20th century of an underground entrance near the shores of Lake Sey Dozero. Explorer Alexander Barshenko, who found the crevice, was later shot dead and his discovery was stifled by the elites ruling the scientific community there. Unfortunately, uh, the work of Barshenko has been resumed through the Kosmopoisk organization. Its members have already uncovered several caves and cracks, but none of them proved to be of any significance. Vadim Chernobrov said, we will have to answer to this mystery, we will have an answer to the mystery only after we find all the caves. He is the director of the research group and investigator of unexplained phenomenon. He says, I am prepared for anything that we find with regard to ancient cities. I believe that if we do find some structures, they will be underground or underwater. I hope some of these legends will be true. Now, let's keep in mind, this is up in uh, Siberia, which, where it's, it's very cold. They have permafrost, and of course, it takes money to do all this research. Now, it's likely, he says, that Hyperborea is more than a myth, since early detailed references come from Herodotus's histories written about 450 BC. In his book, The Ancient Greek Historian, also mentions three other sources that talked about Hyperborea, among them being Hesiod and Homer, renowned poets and thinkers from ancient Greece. So it is possible that this ancient notorious settlement existed, and if so, it would be only a matter of time until its discovery, since the 21st century has brought perfor uh, per uh, performant equipment that can pierce through any type of terrain, revealing what lies beneath beyond. Until that comes, however, researchers and ancient history enthusiasts can only speculate on where the mythical city of Hyper Hyperborea is, but the hope remains that someday the remnants of an ancient city and legendary civilization will be discovered. And this is on Bended Reality. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support.